my question is, I I finally switched everything to Mac in about 2011, and I have issues syncing my Microsoft. Uh, I'm using Outlook for Mac, okay, which is basically a crippled version of Outlook, and. I'm having trouble syncing with iCal. I would, I would like to be able to sync with iCal uh, either through Outlook, being able to set up something in an Outlook calendar. Yeah, so Outlook has its own calendar, right, and um, address book as well as email. And Yeah, and I'm... Yeah. It's, it's easy enough to export it, but syncing it is a little uh, more tricky. Uh, and I haven't looked at this lately. In the past, you've had to buy a third-party sync tool you know what i would do though this should work is use uh, google's calendar as an intermediary so you can sync oh, between them yeah so i'm you, using exchange which i thought if i was using exchange oh yeah you should be able to use, okay so you have so you have a company's exchange server somewhere or how are you using exchange yeah oh all right my company my yeah. company has exchange and it, you know what it used to work and then it seems like it broke you know, with yeah. different updates or something. And yeah. I don't know at what point it broke, you know, because I just don't pay that close of attention to it. Uh, according to uh, the internets, it broke with a, a, the 10.10.2 update. <laughs> uh, so fairly recently. Um, is that El Capitan or is that before that? Uh, that I think is El, it's, is it El Capitan or is it Yosemite? It's pretty recent. Um, so... I can read you the steps. I'm going to put this in the show notes at techguylabs.com. It's from an Apple discussions thread, but I'll I'll, I'll tell oh, okay. you the, I'll tell you the steps, and then you can. It's basically you've got to clear the calendar cache, uh, and then uh, you've got to uh, restart iCal, rebuild the caches, and then as you did before, turn on your Exchange calendar. Apparently, this okay. did fix it for a num number of people. Um, you also okay. maybe have to stop the calendar agent process, but I'm going to put what this is complicated. So what I'm going to do, and I, you know, yeah. obviously you're driving, you don't want to. I'm I'm putting this in the show notes. Uh, our James Deruvo, who's watching carefully, listening to everything I say, and writing it all down, is going to put this in the show notes for you at TechGuyLabs.com, and that's really the best way to do this because then you can read oh, the, the details and all of that stuff. Okay. That's great. Good. Thank so when did it stop? When did it stop working for you? Fairly recently. It was fairly recently. Yeah. yeah. This is probably that problem, that specific issue. Yeah, you know, I'm. Yeah, it's, I, it seems like Apple is. Uh, I, I've been wanting to switch to Apple for a long time, and I finally did. I spent a lot of money. And it's like Outlook for Mac. When when do you do you have any? Uh, I don't uh, use Outlook. Uh, you know, it's a Microsoft product, and. I just I prefer not to, but you you kind of need to because your company is uh, it sounds like an all Windows company, including running an Exchange server. So you're kind of well, I'm the one that convinced them to run Exchange so I could sync my calendar. Actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you also have to make sure that I, that so that the folks at work turn on that Cal Sync feature. They obviously did because it worked for a while. So yeah, yeah. yeah so it's so just well. I think this is that ten point two ten point two update and. This is a oh, fairly simple that. fix. Yeah, it's a. It sounds like it's a bug that uh, that you have to clear yeah, the caches. Apple's now it seems like for the masses when they used to be. I'm very uh, disappointed in the direction they Apple's. Had a big brother in 1984. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they were for the. In fact, that was their slogan: the computer for the rest of us. That was the commercial. Yeah, and I think that what's happened uh, is the iPhone. The iPhone was such a success, uh, and Apple can't ignore it. That all of their resources, all of their attention is on the iPhone and now on finding the next thing the next the success of the iPhone. And so they've let the they frankly I think let the Mac slide a little bit. Which is it is a shame because so it, it was nice People to have use that on mobile now predominantly. Everybody's anyway. using a, a phone. That's the number one computer. They don't use tablets, they don't use desktops, they don't use laptops, they use their phones. So That's Apple's true. putting all its eggs all in that basket. PowerPoint presentations from an iPhone, <laughs> from a, um, uh, iPad. My problem is you can do it but it's it's yeah. harder, and so I don't see why, as a user, I should have to kind of s stuff myself into that you know that my square peg into that round hole. I should use the tool mm -hmm. that's right for the job. But unfortunately, um, Apple is so committed to, for instance, everybody should stop using computers and start using iPads. 
they've been spending a lot of energy promoting the iPad as your next laptop. And yeah, you can, but it's not the best solution. It really is disappointing to me, I think. Right. I agree. Yeah. I share your I share your disappointment. Now, in this case, uh, Microsoft is partly complicit. Uh, make sure you're using the latest version of Office. And, uh, and then if you go to techguylabs.com, that's our website. I have a link that I've put in here. This is show 1,366. The way the website's organized, it's, it's by show and then within each show by hour and then within in each hour, the caller. So you're the last caller in the second hour. <laughs> and and uh, you'll see right there your, your, your question, uh, my answer, and then uh, James will put a link um, in the show notes. I've just pasted it in the chat so he has access to it, to that discussion a thread from Apple's support pages that looks like it's exactly uh, what you're talking about.